ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் அண்ட் உமா மகேஸ்வரி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் கேஎஸ்ஆர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் விமன் திருச்செங்கூர் டுடே ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த டாபிக் டைஃப்ராக்ஷன் ஃப்ரம் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் லெட் சி த இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் டு த டைஃப்ராக்ஷன் பேட்டர்ன் A plane wave of wavelength lambda is incident on a barrier in which there is an opening of diameter d. When lambda is lesser than d, the ray is continuous in a straight line path and the ray approximation remains valid. When lambda is approximately equal to d, the ray is spread out after passing through the opening. When lambda is greater than d, the opening behaves as a point source emitting spherical waves so the proof of these three concepts are given as the image in the below below images the phenomenon of bending of light waves around the corners and their spreading line to the geometrical shadow of an object is called the diffraction so in the below figure the waves didn't overlap and no interference pattern pattern would be seen in other words we can also say that the light bends from a straight line path and enters the region that would otherwise be shadowed this spreading out of light from its initial line of travel is called diffraction in general diffraction occurs when wave pass through small openings around the obstacles or by sharp edges So in this picture clearly we note if the light didn't spread out after passing through the slits there is no interference would be occur the light from the two slits overlap as it spreads out filling the expected shadowed regions with light and producing or also producing the interference fringes for example when a single narrow slit is placed between a distant light source and a screen the light produces a diffraction pattern as shown in the above picture so the pattern consists of a broad intense uh, central band flanked by a series of narrower less intense uh, secondary bands on the series of dark bands or minima the frown of a diffraction pattern of a single slit is consist of a central bright region flanked by much weaker maxima the bright spot at the center is explained by agustin fresnel wave theory of which predicts the constructive interference at the center of the shadow of a penny we can explain the central bright spot only by using the wave theory of light which predict the constructive interference at this point from the view point of the geometric optics one type of diffraction called fraunhofer diffraction occurs when the rays leave the diffracting object in parallel directions fraunhofer diffractions can be achieved experimentally either by placing the observing screen far from the slit or by using a converging lens to focus the parallel rays on your nearby screen as in the active figure so with the alternating dark and bright fringes on each side of the central bright fringe is a photograph of the single slit fraun of a diffraction pattern so it's convenient to divide the slit into two halves as shown in the figure for the single slit diffraction so each portion of the slit twist would be act as a source of waves hence the light from one portion of the slit can interfere with light from the another portion and also the resultant intensity on the screen the such depend upon the direction theta so all the waves that originate at the slit are in phase so consider the waves 1 and 3 which originate at the bottom and center of the slit respectively so the path difference is written as the a by 2 sin theta where a is the width of the slit and the path difference between the waves 3 and 5 is a by 2 sin theta if this path difference is exactly half of your wavelength the two waves cancel each other and destructive interference results therefore waves from upper half of the slit interfere destructively with waves from the lower half of the slit when or when a by 2 sin theta is equal to lambda by 2 so therefore the general condition for the destructive interference for a single slit of width a is m lambda divided by m where m is the order of the fringes that would be start from 1 
So bending of the waves around the corners and obstacles is proved by the Huygens principle. So sum of the individual wavelets superposes to make the next wave friends wavelets at the center superpose the to continue forward wave. Wavelet at the edge retain the spherical geometry go around corner. So thank you one and all.